Hello everyone, welcome back. Accept greetings from Serpent Consulting Services. In previous video, we have seen how we can customize OpenERP reports by using Base Report Designer module and how we can configure Base Report Designer plugin by using Extension Manager in LibreOffice Writer. So now we will see how we can add our custom new report in our running objects. So just go through your running database. Uh, right now I have installed sales and invoice same as like in previous so what I need to do first is I need to you know, open my LibreOffice writer in this I need to connect to my running database so same as we did previously we need to connect through server parameter provide your IP address of your running server in my case it's localhost it's running in localhost and run your running port number so you can see the running port number is 4 times 9 so I am done with it just click on next button select your specific database provide your username and password click on connect button now we are connected through our running database which is support CS now I can add uh, my custom report in a running database so we'll see I will add my custom report inside the cell order objects so you can see we have basic report inside cell order quotation x quotation and order which prints the basic needs or basic uh, details of the cell order but uh, if customer needs some specific requirements or specific formats so they can customize their by their own by using customizing existing report or assigning new reports so in this case we will develop a new report for the sale order what we will do first we will just go through the open a new report menu we will click on it it will provide a running models in a database you need to select the specific model we will go through the sale order so i have just selected the sale order use that module okay and now we will use or iterate a loop we need to iterate a loop for the sale order because uh, customer or user can select uh, print multiple reports at a time so this will uh, return uh, objects model of business model object of the printing sale order or whatever they have selected records so in our case it's sale order so we'll iterate a loop for sale order just click on ok button so you will loop will be added so in front side it will just show you the labels but in backend side they have created in python quotes i will show you how it's appear we need to save this report somewhere else in our system for the temporary purpose sell order extended okay I'll just click on save button what i do i will save with another name because it's already there I will save in desktop okay and uh, I already told you how I will show you how this menus work for which menu is work for which purpose this conversation field is used for the brackets it will show you all the business logic or business or technical code inside or we can say in the background of the templates so if we don't want to sh see the code we just again move to click on fields conversation bracket fields so it's just show the labels okay actually in backend it's a python code so now we will add uh, each and every field one by one by using add field here whenever you click on variable button it will uh, provide you the objects or order which is come from the main parent loop which we already taken over here now inside the order whatever the fields are there in a current object or model it will provide you the list so it's providing multiple records because if the relational fields are there it will show you all the sub fields of the that relational field as well so it might be uh, difficult for the user to select the specific field you can select your specific field from here but you have another options 
you need to have a basic knowledge of python so you can do it very quickly so just go through your about open erp click on active developer mode so and refresh your screen so you can see each and every field name by just moving mouse over there i just want to print a cell order name or you can set the reference number which is the field name is name inside the open erp and the cell order date okay so what i'll do i'll create one table inside that i will say the cell order number and this is my order date i'll add one more line and that uh, what i'll do first of all i will polish this my fields bold and center now what you need to do uh, you can if you want to see the code behind the screen this is the code same as you need to apply for the reference number from the loop it's coming order if you want to print the order name or reference number just print order name and the second is order dot what is the field name of the dot date date order so likewise you can print your detail as per your requirement so let's see these things are reflect to our reports just click on send to server button give your newly added report name so to identify this is your new report so i will give the name to the cell order extended i click on send to this report server so right now this will not show me because i have added new reports i need to refresh my screen for the first time if i added new report now you can see i got the cell order extended report can you see i have printed cell order number cell order date so based on your requirement you can add whatever the field you want to display and what you can apply your format whatever you can whatever expertise you can apply or into the liberal office report designer thanks for watching